Good morning. My name is Marie Harrison, and I'm the Kids Rock Director. And with me this morning, I have a special guest, my daughter, Emma. Emma, how about you have a seat in this rocking chair right here? You know, every night before we go to bed, our whole family gathers together, and we read a verse out of the Bible. We ask questions. We try to understand what that verse is teaching us about God and Jesus and what that verse is trying to tell us and how we should live our lives. And one night, a few weeks ago, Emma made a great observation about rocking chairs and our Bible verse. Now I know what you're thinking. Miss Marie, there are no rocking chairs in the Bible. And it's true. There are no rocking chairs in the Bible. But our Bible verse that night was about worry. And Emma made a great observation about worrying and rocking chairs. And I'm going to let her tell you herself. Rocking is like worrying. You work hard at it to do it, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Did you hear that? Rocking is like worrying. It takes work to do it, but you don't get anywhere. You see, as Emma sits here rocking, if she stops moving her feet, well, the chair will stop. It takes work to rock this rocking chair. And she's not going very far. She's not going to run a mile or go for a marathon in this rocking chair. She ends up in the exact same place where she started. It takes work, and it doesn't get you anywhere. And in the book of Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is trying to teach his disciples that same message about worrying. You see, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus has gathered together all of his disciples and his followers, and he's trying to teach them something. And starting in verse 26, Jesus says, Look at the birds of the air. They don't store up food in a barn. They trust their heavenly Father to feed them. And how much more does God love you than all the birds of the air? Jesus was saying if the birds can trust that God will take care of them and feed them, God loves us so much more than all of those birds. And we can trust that God will take care of us too. And in chapter 6, verse 34 of Matthew, Jesus goes on to say, don't be anxious about tomorrow. He's saying, don't worry about tomorrow. Instead, Jesus wants us to trust because Jesus knows that worrying, just like rocking, takes work. It takes work to think of all the bad things that could possibly happen. And what does all that worrying do? It doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't make you feel better. It only makes you feel worse. It makes you feel scared and sad and anxious. Jesus said, don't be anxious about tomorrow. Don't worry. Trust in God. And that's the lesson for all of us here today. The next time you start to feel anxious, the next time you start to feel worried or scared, I want you to remember these words from Emma. Worrying doesn't get you anywhere. Worrying doesn't get you anywhere. Instead, stop, pray, and trust in God. That will get you somewhere.